Let's turn this over here. We've got one, two, three screws there. Okay, screws. Okay, using Torx T8. supply Wi-Fi Wi-Fi antenna okay Get the power supply out you want to use two three two three let's get these two out big fast screwdriver First of all, <coughs> excuse me, this one comes out first. Press down on the contacts, pull it out. On the motherboard, press down the contacts, pull it out. That's got to be the first one. Got to be done in this order. <coughs> Connected to the motherboard, that's got to come out of there. <coughs> then we want to remove this screw here, this screw and this screw here. <coughs> There is normally a little screw there as well that needs to come out with your crosshead screwdriver <coughs> and also there's normally a, a torque screw driver just in there make sure that comes out as well pull that across this drive then just lifts out okay put the console aside and we're left with just the drive <coughs> To change the laser, we've got the drive as. We've got to take this metal cover off first. It's covering up the circuit board. There's a screw there. One screw over here. And that comes out. These three connectors have got to come out as well. So just pull that one out. This one's got a clip and that clip is going to come up like that. Pull that one out and this one just pulls out. <clears throat> that screw, that screw there, that screw, and that screw there have got to come out. Sure, there should be a screw there, that's got to come out as well. Normally, it helps to remove this screw off here as well, and this one here. So that board's loose now. We can now get inside to the, into, into the drive. We need to pull this plastic piece up. <clears throat> Be careful though, because it's attached to the drive. Underneath it's attached to the laser in there. Okay, get your finger in and pull up, and that will pull the laser mechanism out. Okay, you can put your drive aside for a second, and there's the laser. First thing to do, if it's your own console, what I would do, if, the, uh, if it's not reading the discs properly, um, look at the laser eye there. Uh, you want to check that it hasn't got any dust on it at all, or it's covered in any kind of crap. So what I would do is, you get your cold clean spray, and you get some kitchen towel. <clears throat> spray the kitchen towel, not the laser. 
and get on there onto the laser eye and give it a good clean. Get your fingernail in, but don't just watch it, don't scratch it, but get you know, get onto there and give it a good old get a, give, give it a good old rubbing, okay? Uh, and clean that. Very often this can solve your problem if it's not reading the discs, okay? And that will save you having to buy a laser as well. So give it a good clean. Make sure this is rotating okay. Make sure this cable is inserted okay. Uh, if you do have to replace the laser, what you need to do is obviously order a laser from Amazon, eBay, wherever you want. Um, you're going to undo the clip here for this connector. So this black clip here needs to be pushed upwards. So with your finger, push it up and then this clip just falls open like that. Okay, that connector comes off. Normally you, you would buy the mechanism like this. Sometimes though, you buy the laser uh, without the actual decking itself. If that's the case, you've got to remove this laser off this decking to be able to put the new laser on. So what you would do is, first of all, you want to remove this screw that holds the plastic connector. So small Phillips screwdriver. That's remove that. Then what you want to do is, we need to remove this side of the laser. The side of the laser where the uh, this pin here goes through the plastic part of the laser. This side just this side just is just hooked onto this pole here. But on this side, this pin, uh, it actually goes through the laser mechanism. So what we need to do is we need to get in from this end up here. So what we're going to do, move the laser out of the way. We're going to get a flathead screwdriver and we're going to put it underneath here and we're going to just push it and we've got this out of its home there okay once we've done that we can pull on this and the laser just falls off okay we need that clip by the way that's just done clip there um we're going to need that so once you've done that <clears throat> Get your replacement laser. First of all, attach it to the connector. So, see, this is going to have to go through there, right? This part here is going to hook onto this pole here. So, the, the, this here is going to fit through there. So, put that onto there like that, okay? This needs to go through that hole there. Feed it through. On the other side, this plastic connector has got to go onto there. Put the screw back in. Okay, that's now attached to the connector. So, that side goes onto there. This needle needs to go through the hole there. And what we need to do is we need to force this pin underneath this connector here. So, you might want to use a flathead screwdriver just to pull this pin up ever so slightly so that we can get this pin into position. It's a bit tricky. That's, that's in, in place just there. Okay. Right. That's in place there as well. Okay. This clip here, I will just push it in. That gives it a bit of spring. And then it needs to fit across there and you'll see these holes here have to go onto there. Make sure it clips in into place. It's a little bit loose that is. Let's press it down. Okay that should hold it now. If you think it's too loose take it off. Press this down some more. 
try again. Okay, that's got a bit more traction now. That's great. That's much that's much tighter. Okay, and there's your laser back onto the spindle there. Okay. So then this connector here, the blue the blue side has got to go into here. So push the laser down to the bottom end down here. P push the connector up. And we want to feed this. This can be tricky as well. This needs to feed in to there. And then once it's fed in there, you've got to, with your other hand, push the black connector down. And there you go, it's in. That then falls down onto there like that. Okay. Then we can grab the drive. <clears throat> Just move the board for a second. That round turntable is going to go there. So these four screws go onto these four screws here okay two three four make sure these are in place this goes down on there make sure this fits properly okay you want this to fit underneath this lip here board goes back onto there fits onto these clips here Then you want to put the connectors back in. Start with this one. Push it in, not too far. That's as far as it needs to go. The clip needs to come up on this one. Push this one into there and fold the clip down over it. Okay? Same with this one here. Blue side up. Going to go into this connector here. Be careful. Don't force it. There it goes. Okay, there we go. Right. <clears throat> now that that's down, we'll put these screws back into here. It's amazing. One there, one there, one there, one there. First thing to do is to test the laser before you put it all back together. So what I would recommend is you can leave this metal cover off while you're testing it. It should be okay. Uh, so put the screws back in. And once the console has been tested, then you can get back into the console. Put this back onto here like that. <clears throat> Right. screw goes in there screw goes in there screw goes in there okay but just for testing it as you might want to put a screw in there just to hold the board down while you're testing it as okay so you could put one down here put the drive back into the console what I normally do for testing is I normally just put one back, one screw back in. So we're going to go for the Bluetooth connector there. I'm going to just put that corner in. That holds that down. Uh, actually, that's supposed to be thread underneath this, really, underneath there. Um, right, so this connector goes back in first of all onto the board. Push that one in. Then this connector goes back in. Board first. Here second. Okay. Put the power supply back in. Put the screws back in and then you're okay to test it. You can put the back cover on. Take it to your monitor, test it as. If it's working okay, you can come back, you can open it back up. Take the power supply out, put the metal cover back on, put the screws back in and away you go.